Good day all. Today is 8 June 2020. We will continue from where we stop. Having discussed nitrogen and its compounds, sulfur and its compounds, do not all compounds were discussed and not all oxides were discussed. I have told you to read on other oxides and other compounds. I'm happy you've done that. And I'm happy you understood all that we've been teaching. I really appreciate your effort, the note you've been copying, and the assignment don't rely put more effort and don't get tired and god will see you through today we'll be looking at oxidations and reduction redox reactions the term oxidation and reduction redox we are first used to describe chemical reactions which involve only oxygen and hydrogen but today redox are also used to describe many reactions that involve electron transfer redox equilibrium is concerned with equilibrium between chemical species with different oxidation states as the chemical species have different Oxidation state, reaction, the reactions involved involve must occur with a transfer of electrons. Since they have different oxidation state, the one with a higher oxidation state and the one with a lower oxidation state, one must collect one electron from another. There must be a giver and a receiver. That is why there must be, uh, if at all oxidation will occur, there must be the one that can give electron and there must be the one that can receive the electron. Okay. Okay. Um, the reaction involved must occur with a transfer of electrons. Redox equilibrium is involved in two types of chemical processes. One, electrolysis, in which electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. And two, electrochemical cell, in which chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Redox reactions. Redox reactions are very much a part of the war around us. Example is the combustion of natural gas. Combustion of a natural gas is a redox reaction when maintained combined with oxygen to give us carbon dioxide and water molecule is a redox reaction. The tarnishing of silver and the rusting of iron are also examples of the broad class of redox reactions. You see silver combining with oxygen to form silver oxide is also a redox reaction. You see iron combined with oxygen in the presence of water molecule to produce the rusted iron. This is oxidation. This is oxidation, that means the addition of oxygen to iron in the presence of water is redox reactions. Okay, you see the definition of uh, oxidation and reduction. We have about four definitions with example, very good example of um, oxidation and reduction. First one here is Oxidation and reduction in terms of addition of oxygen and removal of oxygen. That means they occur simultaneously. 
as oxidation is taking place reduction is also taking place then oxidation is gain of oxygen while reduction is lose of oxygen example you see copper oxide and hydrogen gas copper oxide and hydrogen gas when this copper oxide react with all in hydrogen gas we now have only copper solid and then water molecule if from that definition that oxidation is addition of oxygen while reduction is removal of oxygen from these equations this is oxygen copper and oxygen when you remove this oxygen and you add it to this H and hydrogen gas it forms water it forms this water that means you are adding this oxygen to this hydrogen gas to form this water so reaction that involve removal of oxygen from this so that this metal will be left alone like this is known as reduction since from the definition we are meant to understand that reduction is removal of oxygen while oxidation is addition of oxygen adding this oxygen to this hydrogen to form water molecule is known as oxidation addition of oxygen you see in the above reactions hydrogen is oxidized that is undergoes oxidation process because it has gained uh, oxygen to form water while copper oxide is the oxidizing agent to hydrogen because it because it caused it to get oxidized this one caused this hydrogen to get oxidized to water hence copper oxide is the oxidizing agent because it gives it oxygen to this then um while copper oxide is reduced that is undergoes reduction process because it loses oxygen to hydrogen hydrogen is the reducing agent to copper oxide because it accepted oxygen from it and caused it to reduce and cause it to get reduced this is hydrogen by the time this hydrogen received this um, oxygen atom from copper oxide this copper will be reduced to copper melter in this compound the oxidation, oxidation number of copper is plus two because definitely if the compound will exist copper must give two uh, electrons to this oxygen so the oxidation number of copper is two while oxygen here is minus two by the time they remove this hydrogen oxygen you now be left with copper single copper that is single and copper melter and the oxidation number of copper melter is zero remember on combined state oxidation number is zero that is that and this one is oxidized because the water has been formed after addition of this oxygen to this hydrogen so this one is the oxidizing agent this one is the reducing agent so this one is reduced and this one is oxidized number two oxidation and reduction in terms of lose of hydrogen and gain of hydrogen reduction oxidation and reduction in terms of lose of hydrogen and gain of hydrogen oxidation is lose of hydrogen while reduction is gain of hydrogen okay look at this we have ammonia and the oxidation state of nitrogen in this compound is minus three when this one reacts with this to produce this mm, nitrogen oxide and then six molecules of water oxidation state of this is minus three and oxidation state of nitrogen in this compound is plus two that means oxidation if you remove this hydrogen from these it is known as oxidation 
when you remove this uh, hydrogen from this ammonia it forms and when you are removing this uh, hydrogen oxygen is also adding to this nitrogen this define oxidation if oxidation is addition of oxygen and oxidation is removal of hydrogen it define both addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen this define it so coming to the product side we now have nitrogen oxide you remove the hydrogen totally from ammonia hydrogen now combined with oxygen to form this water so the removal of hydrogen to this nitrogen oxide is known as oxidation and addition of hydrogen to this oxygen atom or oxygen gas is known as reduction addition of hydrogen to this oxygen is known as reduction so if you look at the nitrogen atom in ammonia loses its hydrogen oxidation that is oxidation and oxidized to nitrogen oxide hence oxygen gas is the oxidizing agent to ammonia because it causes it to get oxidized while oxygen while oxygen gas gain hydrogen that is reduction and reduced from zero from, from oxygen state of zero to minus two hence ammonia is the reducing agent to oxygen gas since it causes it to get reduced this is the definition of oxidation reduction in terms of removal of hydrogen and addition of hydrogen. We we'll continue from number three in our next class.